before you see how to code this game let's see how it works basically the man should kill the man standing next to him repeating this process of killing the man who lived at last will be the winner let's take an example of eight soldiers here at first pass one kills two three kills four five kills six and seven kills eight at last the man at position one three five seven were left again the game continues between them so one kills three and five kills seven finally one and five are left over again the game repeats between them and one kills five at last the man at the position one wins and he leaves let's generalize this problem let's think what if there are n soldiers we can create a pattern by solving the problem and retrieving winners for different values these are some values and their winners here we can observe some pattern over here like at 1 the winner is 1 at 2 winner is 1 that is it is a power of 2 it is a 2 raised to 0 equal to 1 at 3 the winner is 3 let's explain it clearly for 1 the uh, it is 2 to the power 0 plus 0 for 2 soldiers it is 2 to the power 1 plus 0 for 3 soldiers it is 2 to the 1 power 2 to the power 1 plus 1 and it goes on here the n soldiers or men are defined in the max power of 2 and the leftover are considered as l now when we insert l the leftover soldiers in the another formula it is 2 into l plus 1 in this formula we get the winner therefore we get finally two formulas it is 2 to the power a plus l where a is the maximum power of 2 according to the number of given soldiers and l is the leftover soldiers finally we insert l into the formula of survivor that is 2 into l plus 1 fine finally we conclude by giving an example that total number of men is 41 according to the formula it is 2 to the power 5 plus 9 according to, uh, according to the formula 2 2 into 9 plus 1 is 19 therefore the position at uh, the position of a man at 19 will survive let's implement the code this is the full code of the jotex problem we have written this code in c language in this program we have used circular linked list as a data structure we, we, all, we can also use array in place of circular linked list but the main advantages of circular linked list is the use is to use the ad, dynamic size we can use dynamic size in circular linked list as in array we can't and the second main advantage is easy of in insertion and deletion we can easily insert and delete it in the circular linked list as compared to that of array so we have used circular linked list first of all we have we have created a structure in inside a structure there is a int data and a struct man next this is the 
this part of the program uh, creates a new node for the of this uh, new node of man of n size we have defined a size dynamically by the use of malloc n is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct man this will return n the number of men and the struct man equals to new man int data this is also a structure in which we take the data as a parameter and after creating a new temporary temporary node we we, we create it at empty first of all and then temp set temp of next equals to temp and setting the temporary data as the data that we have that we have used the function to find the po here is the, the p here is a function to use the left of the the left people in the circle the person who are not killed in the mth man in this in this function we have taken two parameters m and n struct man star head is equals to new man this will create a new this will create a new man in which head head and previous are set previous is set to head means the starting head starting man of the circle then we have run a loop for loop for i equals to i from i equals to 2 to i less than equals to n in this we have incremented the previous pointer and in this we have created incremented the previous pointer and we have also shifted from one person to another person in a circular and, and if the loop will stop at n greater than i greater than n so in previous net after that we have to connect we have to connect last person to the first person so that for that we use this code previous of next equals to head this will connect the last man to the first man while while only one man left in the link list at the end that for that we use the two pointer like a pointer one and pointer two both are set to the head run a while uh, run a while loop till ptr of next equal not equals to ptr find the n mth man to find the mth man we use integer count equals to one run this loop while count not equals to m if it is found then the loop will break ptr2 is equals to ptr1 set pointer 2 equals to pointer 1 and pointer 1 equals to pointer 1 of next means we are we are up we are traversing pointer 1 and setting the prior pointer 2 as pointer 1 and we are doing uh, we are counting the number of number of times it is arrived so to remove the mth uh, mth m mth man pointer 2 of next equals to pointer 1 of next and pointer 1 of next equals to pointer 2 of next by this we have by this we can remove the mth person the last person who is alive will give the person data by ptr of one of data this is the main class we have assigned we have taken variable as integer mn first of all we asked about uh, our user about the length of the circle they want they will scan the number of length and the position of the man you want to kill then call the joseph's position function having the parameter m and n this 
this function will goes to goes to this part of the code and the, accordingly accordingly the kill uh, accordingly accordingly the killing of the man is done and we get the suitable last person for the joseph's problem let's compile the code enter the length of the circle for example we enter 41 and we want and enter the position of the man you want to kill like if we skip position 2 the last person who will be living will be at position 19 thank you everyone for the project we can use this joseph problem in the real life industries like when the employers are lack of choosing the correct way about the problem or about a particular problem then they use this algorithm to find the best way to for their problem they can they can set the circular path for all their ways by which they can solve the problem and by you by this joseph's problem they can kill out the possible every possible way uh, and f and pick out the best and pick out the best and efficient way to solve their problem okay this is this is our project thank you